And what do you have? What do you have for lunch here? Uh, we're gonna have some uh, firehouse subs. I'm having the Philly cheese steak. All right. So we're gonna do about two cc's of the 0.5 percent bupivacaine and about 40 milligrams of the uh, steroid. And that's Salumedrol. Yes, sir. Um, so this this lady presents to us today. She's already given us permission to uh, to show this on uh, video today for us. She's had uh, is it three days, ma'am, of some shoulder pain. Mm -hmm. It's been getting worse and worse. It's mostly right out here on the lateral aspect. Um, I want you to move as much as you can for me. Can you kind of go out to the side? No. No. Okay. Can you try to scratch your back at all? No. Nothing? Okay. How about can you reach over and try to touch your other shoulder? Mm-mm. No. Mm -mm. no. I'm okay. trying to. Okay. I want you to pull towards you. Okay. And not really tender back here? No. Not really tender out here? No. No. Right there? Yeah. Okay. And you didn't fall on it, injure it, nothing like that, right? No. Okay. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to try to give her some immediate pain relief. Uh, we're going to do a subacromial injection. There's several different ways you can do it. There's an anterior approach, there's a posterior lateral, and then there's just a lateral approach. Um, we're going to do the, the lateral approach today. I'm going to... It's going to be a little bit of stick and burn, okay? A little stick and burn. And then since we're going into the subacromial space and possibly can get into the joint up here, we're going to use uh, some iodine swabs. And we've already marked kind of the area. Uh, a while ago, we drew up two cc's of uh, half percent marcaine and 40 milligrams of solumedrol. So that's what we're going to use to inject. Okay, huh? When you go. You just go in and you kind of aim a little bit, try to slide right under the AC and a little bit superior using a one and a half inch needle. So we're in, we'll aspirate back, make sure we're not in any kind of vessels, and we'll go ahead and inject. Now if you meet periosteum when you're doing this, you can pull back. All right, we're going to give that a little bit to sit, okay? Okay. And then in a minute, we're going to come back and see if that helps you any. Because we got to get some pictures of it. Just got through injecting maybe 30 seconds ago, and she's already got... Show us a little bit of what you have now with moving it around. Can you try to scratch that back again? And then kind of try to wing it up. So we've already got some improved, a lot of range of motion improvement. And try to come out front. Okay. Put your hand on your tummy again. What I'd like you to do is move that arm around now and just show me how much better it's, it's working. Look at that. Okay. All right. Just um, go up and down and front and back and... And it doesn't hurt. 
Good enough. All right.